Well, that was the moment that mattered. Uh, the Vajkovic, the hero, of course, for Croatia, but tears for the Japanese. Once again, they fail at this stage. They lose in the last 16 for the fourth time. The quest to reach the quarterfinals for them just seems to be too much. Luka Modric there celebrating. They're used to this. I'm used to this. Another penalty shootout victory. Three consecutive ones in the last two World Cups. Extraordinary stuff, really. Uh, they've reached the, at least the semi-finals on the two other occasions they made the knockout stages. They will face, of course, the winners of Brazil's match with South Korea, which will be played uh, later tonight. That quarter-final um, will be on Friday afternoon. Well, we kind of predicted that they would win. It was a little bit too much, really. For the yeah, it was. That's, the that's exactly what it was, Gary. Um, the experience told in the end. In the end, the. Ex the the guys who have been there and done it uh, before know what it's like to, uh, to, to be put under pressure in that situation and they handled it so much better, you, you could tell that. And, I mean, it was, it was so frustrating yeah. from a Japanese point of view is that you, you're thinking, come on, it, it, at least give us something. It's like they, yeah. it, they'd never practiced penalties, it looked that way, they, yeah. they, it, it was too big for them. It is a shame, there's, a, there's something that's very important in Japan, having spent time there, and that, that's not is not losing face. I'm so relieved that at least one penalty went in for that. And they, you know, they battled away against a very strong Croatian team. And I'm sure that that's what their manager will be saying to them there. You can hold your heads up high. Yeah, well, 100%. They've done their country proud. Um, the Japanese people will be super proud of this team. Um, the way they've conducted themselves, they've come back from adversity at times, going a goal down um, against two former World Cup winning uh, nations. Um, they've gone beyond anything they've done before in this competition, so they have to be proud of what they've done, and they're growing, and they're, they're going to be building again for the future, and they'll come back stronger, yeah. I'm sure. Sometimes experience really helps you, doesn't it? Yeah, I think in, the, in these kind of moments there, you could just see there was just a, It seemed like the Japanese penalties just had a lack of conviction and a little bit, you know, they wasn't as confident as the Croatians to, you know, to just to dispatch it, and that would have come from experience. Um, it's tough as well, you know, because they had such a good first half as well. Uh, it's a shame for them, but like Rio said, they've been great all tournament. Well, let's have a look at those three uh, missed penalties. Um, the agony for Japan, of course, but um, joy and glory for Croatia and particularly Levajkovic, who made a couple of fantastic saves. That wasn't a very good penalty, that one, was it? Not at all, no. He's, I mean, he's nowhere near the corner, which is obviously where he's aiming for. Um, I mean, it, they, were, they looked so That's casual. That's a great save. That's a very good save, yeah, but they, 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 were look, they looked so casual, didn't they? And they were yeah. walking up to take the, the penalties, and that's the last one there. They, I mean, all three of them, really. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure they, 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 any of them strike them as, as much as, or as hard as they wanted yeah. to. The ones that have kind of had that casual approach, even the Croatia player, the, the, the one that missed, Levaya, his, his was very casual as well. It's, you know, I'd like a kind of positive run-up at least at a penalty, don't you? Yeah. That, that, that one there was a joke. You can't one up like that. I just, you have to score, otherwise you look an idiot completely. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's the way penalty takers are going at the moment. Yeah. We see even Lewandowski the other day. I've been looked an idiot a couple of times with penalties. Yeah. I know exactly yeah, what you mean. Yeah, I didn't want to mention yeah. it, but um, it's, it's, yeah. it is weird because you can't generate as much power yeah. if, you, unless you, if you take a proper run up and you go up and you smash it. I mean, Alves, I should watch him take yeah, penalties. Yeah. They were, the conviction was there. Run up to it, head down, bang. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if now they're waiting on the goalkeeper. There's a lot of that, isn't there? A lot of like mm. seeing what, yeah. what he's yeah. going to do and then reacting off that instead of yeah. probably just you know taking out the goalkeeper's hands. Yeah. What happened to putting the ball down, picking your spot and hitting it as hard as you can? True. Well, I still some, some do. Some do. Let's have a look at the winning penalty. Um, great moment, of course, for Croatia. Won the experience many times. Yeah, they're, they're, this was, you know, this was a kind of more aggressive run up, and that's, yeah. you know, the pixie spot hits it firm. You know what though? We can sit here and criticise and stuff. That that walk up uh, to the penalty spot is a hard, hard walk. How would you uh, know? I've done it at many occasions in the, in the community <laughs> shield. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you actually, are absolutely yeah. right, Rio. FA Cup semi final. I've done it. Uh, I missed. Um, so it's it's not easy. And uh, at this level. You can uh, look at that. Really well, difficult. Great picture there, um, Alan. It, it, it is tough, isn't it? No, it's I mean, hard. It's a long because you like myself. We took the, you take the first penalty. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but nowadays the ball seems to be already there. But when, I remember it. I think it's the only penalty shoot I took part in it was the World Cup semi-final. That was the first penalty. Someone gave me the ball. I'm on the halfway line. I'm thinking, what do I do? 
do I do I like carry it all the way to the penalty spot? <clears throat> do I juggle it a bit? But obviously not, because I'm useless. And then I, in the end, I thought, kind of put it on the ground and thought, now do I run or do I walk? I mean, it's all sorts of nonsense that, going through that, that, that walk from the halfway oh. line to the penalty spot with the longest walk you will ever have in no, your life. No, it's not. It's the second it's longest. It's the one back if you miss it. If you miss it, that is true. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot shorter if you score it on the way back, because that's it. The relief is huge. Yeah. I mean, you're under, yeah. they're under, they've been under huge yeah. pressure. I know that, the, the yeah. Japanese. And they've... They've done really well. They've 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 entertained. Um, they've I mean they've beaten Spain and they've beaten Been Germany. Germany. So and that's I mean, what it's, yeah, it's, exactly. in, it's an incredible achievement to yeah. say yeah. that has happened. It's just such a disappointment to go out yeah. like that yeah. in that situation. You know, having led in the game as well, and they they played really well in the first half, mm. didn't they? And, and it was different to what we've seen coming into this game. They'd gone behind and they'd reacted and done well, but they went went ahead and didn't really motor on. They didn't grab the game by the, the scruff of the neck. It's a great ball in. They covered all bases in, in, in the penalty box. The Croats, I'm sure, would look back and think we could do better in terms of coming out to the ball. And um, Maeda was really area, sharp, wasn't Maeda, he, in the first yeah. half. he was really good, really yeah. sharp, and, and they were deserving of the lead yeah. going into this. Yeah. And then Perisic, he does, he does score a lot of important goals. Obviously, he got the one against uh, the equaliser against. Um, no, oh, the winner, wasn't it, against England um, four years he's ago? A, he's, yeah, he's a big player, and big obviously player. we see him week in, week out. What a header! In the Prem, but You'd be proud of this one. This is, this is, yeah, this is a powerful yeah. header. This is because he's, he's what? He's about 14 yards out still, mm. so it's just boom, and he's kind of. And when we see the other angle, he's kind of put a spin on, on. He spun it. He spun it in the far post. Um, it's a great ball as well, and it's an important, you know, big players step up at important times, and they really needed something because they were struggling to create anything it else. Was, it was a very similar performance, wasn't it, to when they uh, when they played Belgium in terms of they didn't really play well, they couldn't string anything together. They one had one or two uh, one or two moments, yeah. and I know I know they've got through, but um, I wouldn't be too worried if we had. To, I know they're experienced, but I wouldn't be too worried yeah. that team that's that's. Going to be playing them. It is incredible what Croatia have done, isn't it? Yeah. In, in oh. recent tournaments. I mean, they're a relatively small nation, aren't they? Mm. I mean, obviously, they split up from in the Balkans a few years ago, but they've been terrific. They produce some really good players. Yeah, for a country of that size to yeah. be producing players like they have, it's like a conveyor belt of players. Yeah. You look at obviously Modric is the standout player, but behind that, you've got so many other players Perisic, Kovacevic, you've yeah. got so many players that you think, wow, yeah. all from now, this one Cardio, nation. who you mentioned before yeah. the game. Yeah, who, you know, who grew into the game. He did. The Moscow <laughs> missions that I've been doing through the tournament. For um, Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, I mean, it's, it, they have talent. And you look back over the years before, Davos Suka, yeah. uh, Bilic and oh, yeah. people like that, yeah. they've got great players. So yeah. they're a nation that are steeped in history of yeah. producing very good players. Yeah. Boban. Boban, yeah. Top. Wonderful footballers. So, um, yeah. 